Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to pause Windows updates longer than the default five-week limit in Windows. So if you go to the Windows Update settings in Windows, uh, there's the pause updates section here, and you can pause it up to five weeks. And then it'll unpause itself after the five-week period, or you could just resume as needed by clicking on the button there. So let's say you want to pause it longer than the five weeks. So we're going to show you how to do that with a simple registry edit. So this will extend it up to 20 years if you want to pause it that long. And this will work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. All right, so we have our registry file here. I have it open in Notepad so you can see what it's going to do. It's just going to add this D word value here. So you could do this manually by making a new D word value with this name and this data value here. Or you could just double click the registry file, which I will put a link to in the description. All right, so we have reg edit open here. So you can see this is the location, this UX settings. And there's nothing there with this value right now. So we're going to just minimize this and double click the reg file. Click on run. Yes to the UAC prompt. Yes to adding it to the registry. And then OK. Now if you go back to the registry, we have it right here. And now if we go back to Windows Update, you can see we have a lot more choices here, up to 1,042 weeks. And if you click on that, updates paused until 2044. And of course, if you want to unpause, you can just come back here and click on Resume Updates like you normally would. And if you want to get rid of it completely to where you're not going to use it anymore, you could go into the registry to this location. I'll put this in the description as well. Find this D word value. Just right click on it. Delete. Now we go back to the settings and we're back to the five week maximum. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. I've only been using this about a week and a half and so far it seems to be working okay. I will say if there are some major Windows updates, just be prepared to have to maybe redo it. I'm not sure if it'll reset it or not, so only time will tell. All right, so I, like I said, I'll put a link to this file in the description, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.